Okay. I don't have to live in the mountains. <laughs> but it's already 8 12 p.m. according to this. Um, yeah, I'm going to just set this up for now. a little homing. I'll be right back with one of stuff. And back. I think it would probably be a good idea to set my touchstone here. Um, so, if I should um, I come back here. So, uh, yeah. Touchstone. Allow other players to travel here. Yeah, might as well. Of course, this is a private world for right now. But, Essentially, the idea is what I'll do is let people actually visit an experiment when it's done, or when it's Well, when I'm done recording this, <laughs> it might actually be an adventure. I don't know. But well, let's see what happens. 
Okay. So, um, I did a little bit more expanding uh, the first base. It doesn't look like much of base, but it's something. And let's take a look at this. Okay, we need these webs. We have plenty of wood at this point, and we have vines. But, um, I think this is kind of going to be important. So, we'll make at least, well, can we make two processes? We'll make two processes. And unlock the point. Okay. So, um. Okay. We have processes. And for right now. And for right now, we will put them um right over here okay, um do we have enough okay what about doors um We'll do a door. Can we make the door? Yeah, we can make doors. Okay, we're going to need beeswax. Lots and lots of beeswax. Okay. So, let's go get some beeswax. Um, where did I see it? Oh, there it is. Um, kind of high up, don't you think? Oh, wow. Well. Um, did I... Okay. Yeah, I got some dirt. Might as well get more of that, because... Minecraft, you need to carry <laughs> And that is so you can fill it up. Or do what they call a nerd hole. But it's kind of cool. Either way. So, um, it's always a good idea to get at least as much dirt as you can possibly get. Next thing I already have a base set up and my touch touchstone is there. Whereas Minecraft is kind of like futuristic medieval kind of thing. This is more of a, a space burn thing. And, um, uh, what I'll do is purposely wait until night, so you can see the back. Oh, more mushrooms. The other thing I found out, um, yeah, night mobs are definitely hostile. Well, that's if you're not pro. <laughs> And if you are pro, you can set the mobs on peaceful if you really want, or you can just leave them as is. Well, if you want to do building and so on and so forth,
like a hell cut. 